Secretary of State, why is alternative finance important for growing businesses? Well, it's because, important because as the economy grows out of this major crisis, firms will want capital, working capital and investment capital. Uh, the banks are very badly damaged, obviously in varying degrees, and are reluctant to lend except in you know, what they regard as exceptionally safe investments. So there is a sh potentially a serious shortage of funding, and added to that, the, there are problems with the venture capital market, which are fairly long-standing, gaps in, in equity funding for high-tech firms, which was highlighted this morning. Uh, so, you know, there, there is a major issue around the availability of finance as we grow out of this crisis. Um, fortunately, we have a lot of very good entrepreneurial people around in the finance community. Uh, we're beginning to see the revival of some traditional forms of finance, asset-based invoice financing, new types of internet-based systems, peer-to-peer -peer lending, angel investors. We want to encourage these. Um, and to answer the, the, the second part of the question, what is the government doing? Uh, the government, I think, realized the necessity of this a couple of years ago, and we've been trying to take a series of initiatives since the Business Finance Partnership, which is supporting some of these uh, new, new platforms. Uh, funding is already going out in some of them. Uh, supporting manufacturing supply chains who have particular difficulties, particularly if they're in export markets, and potentially the most important, which is the business bank, uh, which is pulling together 2.9 billion of existing funding streams with another billion, hoping to leverage this substantially into various forms of small business lending of a wholesale kind.